What's up, fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here. And remember when we heard the news that some one of the protesters outside of the Laundry's home was suing Chris Laundry over the fact that he removed one of their signs from his front yard? And we all laughed about it. It all sounded ridiculous. And a lot of us cracked jokes about, what if this goes on Judge Judy? And we all laughed it off. Shrugged it off. Of course, that would never happen. Well, folks, it's happening. That's right. Chris Laundry and this protester have been summoned and invited to be on Judge Judy's new small claim court show. I don't know where we shifted realities or how we got into the world that we're in now. But at some point, I'm telling you, paradox has shifted. I don't know what happened. We changed dimensions or something. I don't know if we're stuck inside of a simulation or what it is. But the things that are going on, the things that are transpiring here within the last few years are not normal. They're not normal. I'm sorry. If you think that the things that have taken place over the past couple of years in specific, the past year or so, if you think it's normal, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you need to wake up because nothing is normal anymore. It's almost like we're living in a clown world. This is a clown society. Nothing's taken seriously. We've watched time and time again how these law enforcement officers are just acting like police from a bad movie, like super cops. I don't even know how to explain it, super troopers. And now, something that we, we joked about. Of course this couldn't happen. Of course this wouldn't happen. And it's happening. I mean, this comes about a month or so after Dog the Bounty Hunter entered the search for Brian Laundrie. And now we're at the point where Judge Judy is about to preside over one of these small little <laughs> cases that happened, you know, that came out of this whole situation. And I don't know what to take seriously anymore in life. And this is why I tell people every day, wake up, put a smile on your face, because nothing's that serious for you to be down about. Nothing. I don't care what it is. No one else out here is taking life seriously. The world isn't even taking itself seriously lately. So wake up every day, no matter what you're going through, and put a smile on your face, because we live in a clown world. We live in a world where Chris Laundry has been invited on the Judge Judy show. We live in a world where Dog the Bounty Hunter was out here doing more work than the FBI. We live in a world where TikTokers are finding more evidence on a murder case than the FBI. So every day wake up and just be happy, y'all. Because I mean, what the hell can we, what can we do at this point? What can, what can we do at this point? We've reached the point that now We've reached the point that now this whole case is about to go to Judge Judy. What's going to come out of it? I don't know. Will Chris Laundrie appear? Probably not. But if he doesn't, he's going to lose the case, and then he's going to have to pay these people a few dollars for the sign. And it's just all hilarious to me. And it gets more ridiculous and more ridiculous by the day. And like I keep saying, it's a perfect reflection of society right now. And I'm sorry to get so deep, but it's just like, what the hell is going on out here, people? For real. I mean, take a look around you at everything that's going on right now. What the hell is going on? You know, covering this case has done a good job of taking my mind off of a lot of the crazy things that we've been going on, that's been going on in the world over the past year or so. You know, I've been really focused on this case, and it's it's done a good job of taking my mind off of all the craziness that's going on in the outside world. But as I'm looking into this case, I realize there's just a bunch of craziness going on in this case as well. And it just seems like nothing is sacred anymore. I don't even know what the word to say, but it seems like just everything that's happening in today's society is just so crazy. Nothing's normal anymore. And I don't even know what normal is, but holy moly. It's like everything is just so weird these days, y'all. I don't, I can't really find the words to explain myself right now, but everything is just so weird. And this case is so weird. Life is so weird. 
And what can we expect? What comes next? Where do we go from here? And I say that a lot, but where do we go from here? Chris Laundry on the freaking Judge Judy show? Does that even sound normal to y'all? It doesn't. It doesn't. I can't I can't do anything but laugh because it's just like, whatever. Okay, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing now. And even as I sit here and rule out the fact that Chris Laundry would actually show up on Judge Judy, I have to sit back and remember, wait, 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 wait. It was just about a few days ago when we all brought up, oh, they might take this case on Judge Judy. And we all laughed about it and thought that was a joke. So I shouldn't be so dismissive over the fact that maybe Chris Laundry does show up on this show. Like I said, we live in a clown world. Maybe the first time that we hear the Laundry say something will be on Judge Judy. I wouldn't even, can surprise me anymore. It really wouldn't even surprise me anymore. And to be honest with you, I think the Laundries are going to need some money coming up here soon. So they're probably going to try, they're probably going to try to take at least a couple of interviews, maybe a Judge Judy show, who knows, whatever they can to get a little bit of money because I got to believe their business is hurting. They probably spent a lot of money on lawyer fees and who knows what other fines and stuff they might have to, you know, they might have to go through. So we'll see, but all in all, I'm at a loss for words. <clears throat> I don't know what to take seriously anymore. Obviously, no one else is taking the world seriously, so it is what it is. But I definitely want to, on my channel, in the future, we're gonna cover a lot of different things here. You know, we're gonna cover some true crime, we're gonna cover whatever trending topics at the time, different things like that. But I definitely wanna sit down with you all and just have some solid discussions about life and about where we're at in today's world and where we're at in today's society. That's what I would like to do. I, I hope that this audience that I'm forming over here, I wanna form a supportive, open-minded group of people that can all come together and just talk. Just talk about whatever it may be. So hopefully sometime in the near future, we can start having some deep discussions about life on this channel. And I want everyone to be open-minded when we have those discussions. And I want everyone to realize that maybe my opinions might not have to align with yours and that's fine because that's the beauty of life but until then let's just all sit here and laugh at what a shit show this case has been i want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below while you're down there hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button why aren't you subscribed already you literally come here and watch every single update on this case and you're not subscribed yet why Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Also, if you if you have already rung that notification bell, go make sure to ring it again and again and again because they keep taking people off my notification li list. They're deleting comments, subscribers, likes, all that stuff. YouTube does not like people talking about this story anymore. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but YouTube is actively trying to suppress this story now. And I find that kind of weird as well. I know YouTube actively suppresses a lot of things, especially certain things that are going on in today's world you can't really talk about. I'm talking about the, <clears throat> you can't really talk about that on YouTube and they don't want you talking about this case anymore either. I've noticed it and it's getting weird, but this is what it is. That's a conversation for another day. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.